So body condition scoring is a tool farmers can use uh, easily to assess the condition of their ewes. And this is done by handling the ewe over uh, and around the backbone area of our loin, just behind the last rib. And we can use our fingertips to feel the level of fat cover over the spine and the degree of sharpness and roundness of the lumbar vertebrae which indicates, as it gives us an indicator of the amount of fat cover the ewe is carrying. We then feel and assess the prominence and the degree of fat over the horizontal processes and assess the amount of muscle and fat under the ends of these bones. The final step is to assess the eye muscle eh, over the loin and this is done by just pressing the fingertips into the area between the vertical and horizontal processes eh, of the ewe. So when condition scoring there are five main scores where one is very very thin and five is excessively fat. We then further break these down with half scores to define a condition score of the individual use. In commercial situations we rarely find use of a condition score five which are excessively fat and you can't feel the, like the spine processes even with a firm pressure. Rams would be expected to be in a condition score of three and a half to four. Although most problems eh, with poor condition relate to thin ewes, overfat ewes can also have similar difficulties and trials have shown that lean ewes and fat ewes will underperform because at mating they don't come into heat when the rams are first turned out, they have erratic heat periods and they shed fewer eggs and they're also more prone to reabsorbing the foetuses. In mid and late pregnancy both fat and thin ewes are more prone to twin lamb disease. Lean ewes are more likely to die and vaginal prolapses are more common in flocks with many fat ewes. At lambing time, lean ewes may have difficult births due to weaknesses. Fat ewes may have more difficult births due to oversized lambs, and both could produce fewer and weaker lambs. Lean ewes also have poor colostrum and milk supply, resulting in lamb losses post-birth, and lean ewes are also poor, poorer mothers. Condition scoring should be used at weaning time, or at the very least the last eight weeks before tupping, which is vital. It takes eight weeks for a ewe to put on one condition score, and by assessing scores at this time, we have the opportunity to adjust the management for the individual ewes uh, to help them regain condition if they are too low a body score, or also to uh, decrease the quality of pasture they're on uh, if they're too fat. We should also be condition scoring uh, the ewes uh, at tupping, this gives us an indicator, an early warning for the coming winter if ewes are too lean at topping time. Mid-pregnancy is also a useful time to condition score ewes and this will identify any problem ewes, any ewes that are perhaps too lean which need to be pulled out at this stage and given preferential treatment. And gimmers and older ewes expecting twins should be scored carefully as they are likely to be the most vulnerable age groups. In late pregnancy the foetus starts to grow most rapidly in the last seven to eight weeks of pregnancy and here there'll be the problems with lean ewes at this stage and these ewes have to be drawn out and fed. With lean hill ewes at this time survival of the ewes is a prime issue so late pregnancy is an important time uh, to be condition scoring. And by using condition scoring regularly then the skill of identifying lean and overfat animals will be improved. <laughs>